We're going to walk through creating a view using DIY Layout, a layout for designers and developers using Gravity View. I've collected quotes about space in a form called Space Quotes, and I'd like to create a view to showcase them. Let's take a look at the form. There's a name field, a field for the quote, website for more information, a photo of the person who is being quoted, and a checkbox to determine whether or not to show the entry on the website. I have a few quotes already in Gravity Forms, and I want to create a view from these quotes. So let's do that. I click Create a View, and I will name the view Space Quotes. And I'll select the new option, DIY, as the view type. Now I'm going to choose the fields to display, and I'm going to start by showing the name of the person who created the quote, the quote itself, and the website for more information. Let's see what that looks like. So we have the name, the quote, and the website. So all DIY layout is doing right now is wrapping the field values in a div tag and giving the div tag a CSS class that is unique to the field. Let's change the HTML structure to be something that's better fitted for this content. So we go back to editing the view, and I want the name to be a heading. You can see that DIY layout has added a few fields in the field settings, including before output, container tag, and after output. A container tag is where we can change the HTML tag that will be wrapping the field value. Let's make it a heading three. I want the quote, to be a block quote, and I want the website to be wrapped in a paragraph tag. Let's see what that looks like. Now that we've updated the container tags, let's take a look at the new output. The name is now wrapped in an H3, the quote in a block quote, and the website in a paragraph, as we specified. Let's add another field. Let's add the image of the person, drag it up below the name, and give it a CSS class, a line right, and that will float the image to the right in this theme. Let's see how that looks. It's looking really good. Now, what if we want to show some additional content before and after the field value? I'd like to add call to action text before the website link. So I'm going to edit the field settings. The container tag is currently set to paragraph, and that means that the output will be a paragraph wrapping a anchor tag. I want to modify the output so that there's text before the anchor tag. And so what I'm going to do is turn off the container tag to none and then add my own custom paragraph wrapper. And I'll show you what I mean. So I create the opening paragraph tag that goes before the content and the closing paragraph tag that goes after the content. So I have my own custom wrapper. And now I'm going to create my own call to action and say, learn more about, and then type the name of the person by visiting this website. And I'm going to leave the tag open because it's closed in after output, and you'll see what happens. Let's save the view. View the updated results. And you can see the call to action that we just added, including the replaced merge tags. Let's take a look at the HTML. and the call to action followed by the field content. DIY layout works with short codes, it works with merge tags, and I think you're gonna do amazing things with it. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions by contacting us at Gravity View Support.